Well, today it took me about, I'm gonna say 15 to 20 minutes to do my makeup because I was doing it for this video. And about 45 to 60 minutes to create this hairstyle. <laughs> And I know you're all looking at the halo because she is loud and proud today. Anyway, today's video is in collaboration with Nordstrom. What I did is I ordered some new products and I did a side-by-side -side of me trying them for my first time. And uh, I'll insert video clips uh, to right over here. You'll see me. You'll see me butt naked looking my finest right here. And then of course, here I am now. So it will be a split screen because so many of you really, really like that. And thank you very much for your feedback because it really helps. I actually did one of those videos a couple of months ago and not many people said anything about it. So I thought, well, maybe they don't like that, but turns out you do because those are the kind of videos I also enjoy watching when it's a side by side. All right, so uh, I'm gonna do a little trick first. I'm gonna go in the order that I apply, and of course, I use a primer normally. Now, I, uh, you all know that I go on TikTok every now and then, and I actually posted this on my Instagram, the in stories the other day, because I thought it was really interesting. I have never been able to use Estee Lauder's Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. It has always been too heavy for me. It has always been too pasty looking for me. It really did accentuate all the lines, wrinkles, and folds, and sagging on my face. So it was never an option for me. And then I started seeing this little hack or little trick on TikTok, and I thought, I have to share that because there's many women that want the, well, we have to see if this lasts on my face. Uh, this is my first time trying it with you. So anyway, let's get to it. So I actually ordered some Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I had purchased a bottle many years ago. It was not good. It was a hot mess even when I was younger. And I just threw it away or gave it away, something like that. So this time I ordered the 2W2 Rattan. And I have to say, because I was flying by the seat of my pants, I have to say it's a really good match, ladies. If you're the same color as me and you can't get to an Estee Lauder counter, this is a good shade for us. And keep in mind that I have a little bit of color because I'm in Florida now. Uh, in New York, I didn't get as much color throughout the year, and now I have color year-round. Uh, anyway, back to Estee Lauder. So I bought a small bottle of the Advanced Night Repair. Now, I normally cannot use Estee Lauder skincare. This did not irritate my skin, so I was very happy because I could continue on and complete this video. So what I did is I first primed my skin with the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Now, I may have overused it. Uh, I don't think you have to use as much when you're priming, but that's what I did first. And then we move on and we mix the two of these together. And my friends, it really is beautiful on the skin. So adding that little bit of Advanced Night Repair, I'm going to actually try it with some other serums that I have as well, because this is not a serum that I use on a regular basis, so I don't want to have to add this into the lineup. So uh, I think you can see, all I do is I take a dropper, place them on the back of my hand, and I just kind of mix them together, and then I went in with my sponge and I applied, and it gives beautiful coverage, it has a wonderful feel, it's very lightweight. I was always annoyed with the feel of the Estee Lauder foundation on my skin. It is gorgeous, my friends. It really is a nice thing to try if you have been wanting to use the Estee Lauder because it gives really good coverage, and you can see this is beautiful coverage. All right, my friends, so that is I'm going to insert pictures at the end of the video. I'm going to go outside and take pictures of my skin so you can see it on. And then I will put an annotation or below the video in the description box where all the Nordstrom links will be. I will put a little blurb in there about how it lasted. But right now, I'm really liking it. All right, so then I moved on to my concealer. And first I went in with my YSL. 
And this I like because it is number three. It has a little bit of a peach undertone. And this is the Touche Cloth High Coverage Radiant Concealer. And this has that little bit of peach, so it really does camouflage out the dark darkness, which allows me to use less concealer because this is very, very thin. And I just tap it on. I use a little bit on the eyelid and all around the eye, and it just helps to really neutralize the blue tone underneath my eyes. And then I went in with my long comb, and because I already camouflaged out all the darkness, because that's the only reason I use a concealer. If I didn't have darkness, I wouldn't use a concealer at all. I would just take my uh, foundation right up there and have at it. I would just go enjoy my day and probably show less of my wrinkles. But because I do do that and neutralize, I'm able to use less concealer. If you notice, I put a very small drop just right here and then a little bit here and I take the sponge and I just kind of, you know, move it around a little bit and just cover what else needs to be covered. And this is the look I get with that. So then of course I have to go in and I have to set that a little bit. So I just went in with the Laura Mercier and I take the smallest amount, just enough to set it ladies, because if I don't, it's a hot mess underneath the eyes. It really ages me. So I use just a very small amount. Touch your finger, make sure all the wrinkles are out first. And then if it was only that easy, just to touch our under eye and the wrinkles would disappear. But you know what I mean. Make sure that you have no concealer gathering in your lines because those will be accentuated with the powder. I have to keep my eye on Harley because she's a Roman. All right, so I just go in with a little bit of that. And then I decided I'm just going to put a little bit of powder on my cheeks because I didn't want to powder up the foundation because I really do want to see how it looks. So I just powdered my cheek area where I'm going to put some product and I went just over my T-zone lightly. All right. Next I went in with the NARS bronzer and I really just concentrated it right through here just to lift my cheekbone and my face up or give the illusion of lifting it up. So just through here I did not do any type of contouring with my bronzer and there really is a difference between the two. I mean, the color tones are totally different. If you really are into contouring, you want a very neutral contour if you're going to really sculpt your face. But I find that that's aging me now, so I have moved up, and I just used bronzer, but instead of putting it all over the cheek, which just makes them look bigger and fatter, I'm just using it and really accentuating the lift. All right, so we went in with that. After my bronzer, I think I may have gone in with the Buxom, and this is the Wanderlust Seychelles, and you'll see that I actually think I need a little more blush, so in the end, uh, I add another blush, which is brand new, which you will see in a bit. I went in with the Pillow Talk. This is the Beauty Light Wand, and I used this on my eyelids, and I think there's a color to this. Pillow Talk, yes. And you'll see that it is a nice pink tone. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand here so you can see it. And I just went in and primed my eyelid with this and then allowed it to just set a little bit. And it's really pretty. And I also took this and went on top of the blush and I just touched it. You can use a sponge, but I found this actually did work better with my finger. And you just want to highlight on the top of the cheekbone just above the blush slightly and I did go ahead and go all the way around the eye just lightly because there's no sparkle in this or glitter and that just really highlights nicely it's like you're doing a C all the way around and it just really highlights and makes your eyes the focus so it takes it off of the lower half of my face. People are only looking at my eyes. They're not looking at my jowls. <laughs> so, so anyway, this went on the eyelids and also highlighted the cheeks. I did some blending with the sponge and I did a little bit of blending on my eyes to really make sure that I had no harsh lines. Then I went and I tight lined my eyes and I did that with the NARS High Pigment Long Wear Eyeliner Mambo. Uh, I just do a tight line, and what that does is it just adds a little bit of definition to the eyes, gives them more of a smoky, sultry look. 
So that's something I do all the time. And at night, if it's really a fancy, fancy something, something, I might add a little color underneath on the waterline. If you're somebody who likes to use the wa do the waterline, go ahead and do your waterline. But remember that it will make your eyes look a little bit smaller. If you are someone who's already dealing with small eyes, try a nude color on the waterline. It will help to open up your eye and make it look bigger. All right, so we're gonna just grab my uh, brow. This is the first time, usually I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz Gel, the tinted gel in caramel or brunette, and I really, really love it. It has a little bit of a sparkle to it, which I really love, but I've been seeing a lot of people talk about the legendary brows, and it is all I have on today, no pencil, nothing. And it's very important for me to use a tinted brow gel of some sort because I have white brows and no I will not be allowing my white brows to take over my forehead I will not my hair may be white but I'm still going to cover up the eyebrows I just don't like my eyebrows white so this has a very 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 fine tip to it so it allows you to really brush through each brow and my brows I do not tweeze them I don't do anything to them anymore because I absolutely ruined them when I was a young girl by you know doing the twiggy look plucking them all out for years and then shaving them at one point and then I have been trying for years to get my eyebrows to grow back and they just so uh, my brows it is a must to use a tinted brow I do like it I think that I need to do a little bit of fine stroking just to fill them up a little bit so next time I try that I will I really wanted to just see how all of these products work on their own so, so next we'll say I did my eyelashes so this is the mascara that I tried and I will say out of everything I tried this is the only thing that probably will not work for me I really did struggle I don't care for the brush on it but it is the pillow talk push up lashes it gives you 24 hour lift effect I don't have a problem with mascaras dragging my lashes down I do curl my lashes before I apply so but I, I did struggle with this I just don't think it's for me because of the brush so I went in with my Mac stack which I happen to like and the brush on this is not my usual type of brush I prefer a spoolie but this I do like. It really builds the lashes up nicely. I went in with the Bobbi Brown Lip Pencil, and this is in Rose number 7. It's a nice rose shade. I think I, I'm looking for the perfect neutral rose that has a little bit of oomph to it. I don't want something super pale, but uh, this one has a little bit too much blue in it for me, but it did work, and I went in with Lancome's Vintage Ruby, I love this slip, love it, love it, and it's just a, it's very, it's a peachy pink, it's, it's really a perfect, perfect lip color, so I did go ahead and line with this, but then I soften it to make it work for this lipstick, so uh, yes, loving, loving, loving the lips, I have always loved that vintage ruby, always. So right. as I mentioned, I thought I need a little bit more color on my cheeks. The Seychelles is just not doing it for me. So I purchased this Hourglass. This is the Vanish Blush Stick. Now, many of you are requesting that I do a video on cream products and, um, you know, which ones are worth it, which aren't. And I am trying a lot of cream products. So that video will probably come in a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so. But this is from Hourglass, and I will tell you already, this is going to be a keeper. Now, you have to work quickly with it, because, and they're very pigmented. You do not need a lot. But I just touched this on the top of my cheeks, and it just brought them to life. But this is the actual blush, and you can tell when you feather it out, it's not disappearing. The trick to finding a really good cream product is it can't, have, it can't be so creamy that it's like an oil slick and just goes away. It does have to have a good formula. And, uh, you know, I've, I've purchased quite a few lately, and some of them are real duds. And I'm going to bring those in videos for you to see. But this one here, uh, I think I can tell you already it's going to be a keeper. It was really nice. You have to work a little quickly with it, and it just winds back down. 
but uh, I think I have high hopes for this one. So I did finish off. I wanted to make sure I had a nice glow because I didn't put any of my highlighter powders or anything like that on. So, so my last step, I went in with the Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Powder. Really love it. Just took a nice, loose, fluffy powder brush and just swept it on the high parts of my face right here. This is another thing you can do. Uh, I was trying to show you in my last video, but there are little techniques that you, I see that are coming out, and I've really tried some of them, and it, they really do work. And I did talk about this in my last one, but I'll go ahead and try it with this powder. So I'm just taking a little bit of that powder on a fan brush, and I'm just going to work it up right here on the side of my mouth, and then I'm going to work it up just on the side of my eye and it helps to lift. So the sun just went down. I, the window that I have open lighting up behind me, that's why it got darker all of a sudden because the sun went behind the clouds. Anyway, so this is just a really nice technique. Now you have to make sure whatever you're using there doesn't have glitter. And then right on the side of the mouth, and you just, you're highlighting the whole area and it just really lifts up. So really loving that technique as well, my friends. And then of course I finished up with some Max Fix Plus and that is it. So that's it for the makeup. I did purchase a couple of other things from Nordstrom. I forgot how much I love this. And there are days that I don't want to put lotion on and I am an alligator. So I need to put body cream, body lotion, something on, or my skin is just ashy and flaky. So it's a must for me, but sometimes I don't want to put cream on and then my sunscreen. And I put a lot of sunscreen on my arms because I walk the dogs and you know I'm out in that sun and Lula's potty time happens to be 2.30 when it's 900 degrees out there and that's when she's gotta go. So I really load up on the sunscreen I do this in the morning and then again I'll do it before I go out and walk Lula. So, so I like the Super Goop Body Butter because it gives you both. You get your moisturizer, you hydrate your skin, and you get your SPF of 40. So I forgot how much I loved it so I bought another tube of it. I wish it came in the pump because I would buy it in the pump. I really do like this. I like a lot of the Super Goop sunscreen. And I just so, have three fragrances to share with you. Now, I've been on a mission to find some new fragrances because I've been wearing Burberry for so long and it's, like I said, it's very hard to find. It's, it's gonna be discontinued. I'm convinced of it. So I really have been trying to find some new fragrances. I do have some that I absolutely love and wear all the time, but Sometimes I just want new and exciting. That's what so I did. I ordered a couple of fragrances and I'm hoping they work for me. I'm not sure. I haven't tried any of them. And the first one is from Joe Malone because I do have good luck with some of the Joe Malone. I like the uh, Sage Sea Salt, I believe it's called, and I like the Blackberry uh, one. It's really good. And then there were a couple of limited edition ones that are no longer available that I have liked in the past as well. But this one is the Salty Amber, and I thought I would just go ahead and give it a try. I bought this smaller bottle because of course I wasn't sure. And I did, I made a little note here so I would remember the fragrance notes of this one. This is a very, it has sensual notes of amber and patchouli, and it has a freshness of cardamom to it. So I'm going to give this a try. It's taped on the top. I, I don't know if that's the new packaging, but um, we'll give it a try and I will let you know. I will update you. Uh, maybe I'll put it in an annotation below. I don't know. But let me know if you're wearing this one and if you like it or if there is one that you really love. Now keep in mind I'm not a beachy scent girl nor am I super super sweet. They give me headaches so I'm not really into those. I like a very, I don't like woodsy with a, a, a really harsh bite but I do like the smoky shall we call them boozier fragrances. <laughs> I do like those. Anyway, all right, so the next one that I got is from, I'm not sure how to say this, Byredo, By, Byredo. And this one is called Gypsy Water. Now this is an Eau de Parfum. The Jo Malone, they are only cologne. So they have less of the essential oils that go in. That's why I think a lot of people say they don't last. I don't have a problem with them. I smell them all day long, but you know, we're all different. 
But this one here is the Eau de Parfum, so it will have more of the essential oils that go in to make up the fragrance. And this one is a um, woody aromatic, so I ordered it, but that scares me a little bit. But its top notes are bergamot, lemon, pepper, juniper berries. And then the middle note, what you start to, as it dries down, what comes out is the incense, pine needles, and orris, which I must admit, I'm not familiar with orris and how it smells. But its base note is what I said, okay, I'm going to give it a try. Amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. Now, I don't normally care for vanilla scents, but if it's mingled in with the right things, like, like uh, my Burberry has a little bit of vanilla in it, but it's, it mingles with the other ones, so the vanilla is kind of behind the scenes on me. Um, but the amber, I love amber, and I love sandalwood. So I'm hoping that this one will be for me. I hear a lot of people talk about this one. So I thought, okay, I'm going to give it a try. But it can't, I'm hoping it's not strong. Because if it's strong, it's a no-go for me. Next then, is from Ellis Brooklyn. And I believe it's per, pronounced Aprez. It's an eau de parfum. And again, this is a woody scent, which scares me a little bit. But again, the top note is saffron, juniper berry, and cardamom. The middle note is soft suede, bourbon, violet, praline. Praline scares me, a little sweet. And I can't pronounce the next one. It's gaucha wood labdanum. But the base notes are, this is what you smell with the final dry down. The base notes, musk, vanilla, patchouli, cedarwood, and sandalwood. So I'm hoping that my body chemistry loves it. And that is it for today's video. I would like to thank Nordstrom for collaborating with me once again. Everything I used will be listed and linked below and can be found in store at Nordstrom or online at Nordstrom. All right, my friends, let us know in the comments, are you using any of these products? What is your favorite, most favorite fragrance of all? I would love to know. And what are some fragrances, just by what I have been describing to you of what I like in a fragrance, give me some suggestions, my friends. I would, I would love, love to them. walk around and sniff and get a headache. <laughs> All right, my friends, so that is it for today. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Right next to it is the bell. It will notify you of all the videos that I'm putting up. That's it for today's video. Go out in the world, be lovable, and love your age, my friends. Love your age. I love you all. Bisous.